Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Zora's Daryl, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for July, okay? So, at any time in July, okay? Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, all right? What do we have one fallout? What do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July? Archway. Archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths that are opening up. So you have some sort of new path that is opening up. A new opportunity. Candle. You will be shown the way. So you are going to be shown the way, Aries. The way down this path. Okay, the way to down this path, you may have to follow the light. I just got an itch. Um, so you're going to be shown the way, but you've got to follow the way. You've got to follow it. You've got to go down that path. New opportunities, possibilities, and doors that are opening up. So what do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? fell out. An invitation is coming. You're going to be invited to go down a path. You may be invited to go through a doorway. Ooh, look what we got on the bottom. Aries. Ram. Um, you're in charge. You're in charge. You're, you're the boss, right? You're going to be receiving an invitation. This invitation is... A new opportunity that you should probably take. Nine, nine, nine. Nines are about closure. Next card, next one is ten. Ten is completion. Nines are about closure. Okay, it's time to move on from something when you see nine, nine, nine. It's basically the end of a cycle. Just about. Okay. Nines are challenges though. They are challenges because there's some sort of closure that is needed. You need to uh, deal with some sort of opposition by the looks of things to close something off in your life. I think I'm going to use. Oh, we need to get one of these. What do we have for Aries? An invitation is coming. This invitation is a new opportunity. It brings you down a path. It's obviously the path to light because of that candle. You are being shown the way. You just have to listen. What do we have for Aries? One card, please. The Hermit. The Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but you are also going to need to reflect. You're going to need time alone. Some of you may be choosing to go down your own path. The Hermit is a very a consciously awakened individual who listens to themselves, that gains insight from themselves, that takes a time out to reflect. You may be doing some soul searching this month. Um, Taking a time out from the rest of the world to discover who you are. This is like setting new goals as well. So I feel like you're you're going to be doing something by yourself. You really need to listen to yourself and nobody else. Um, you need to take a time out to reflect on what where you want to be and who you are. Maybe it's re-identification. Maybe you're re-identifying yourself during this time. Setting new goals really thinking about your future because that's what the hermit does um it's it's, it's it feels like it's a time of re-identification and realizing 
who you are and who you're not. So what do we have for Aries? You know, the hermit becomes wiser through isolation. So maybe you need to just withdraw. You need to withdraw from others for a minute. Two of swords reversed. Got two cards. The emperor reversed and the queen of wands reversed. So, I mean, I can't make it up. Oh boy. We have the Empress reversed on the bottom. Ugh, I just got, I just felt sick in my, I'm serious, I just felt sick. I just need to take a minute. You may need to take a minute. I literally just feel sick. And the Hermit is take a minute, take a minute. There's something that there's pain because the Empress doesn't give birth. She's She has to experience some sort of pain. And the Empress, I mean the Emperor reversed is, is angry, upset, or not following the heart, or needs to follow the heart. Somebody needs to follow the heart. Queen of Wands reversed is entitled. You may be dealing with somebody that is entitled. You know, this is somebody that's making you angry. This is somebody that is uh, superficial. I don't feel like that's your energy. I feel like it's somebody that you're dealing with. Unbelievable. My stomach is like, whoo. I don't know if you're having some stomach issues or what, or if something is making you sick. <laughs> the Empress reverse, that's lack of love. That's not love. The Empress, I don't know if you're dealing with a woman that does, does not give an unconditional love. There could be absent father, absent mother here. We definitely have somebody here that is very, very forceful. They're trying to force that, force something on you. You're obviously torn in, in two different directions. The first card out is the two of swords. So that, that's torn in two different, it is reversed. So you need to make some sort of choice. It's probably not an easy choice. I hate to see the Empress reversed. It, that's what did it. Empress reverse. She's not giving any love. She's not. Maybe she's, somebody has retreated. Maybe there's a need to retreat. There's a need to retreat and, and reevaluate. Reevaluate your choices. Reevaluate your future. Reevaluate who you are. There's, there's um, corruption here. With the Emperor Reverse, I mean, I'm just telling you what it means, okay? The Emperor Reverse is corruption, it deserts you in the time of need, or deserted somebody in the time, it, somebody has been deserted. I don't know if it's this Empress or who it is. Anyhow, um, there's something that is being exposed with the, with the Two of Swords Reverse, there's some sort of exposure. Coming out of denial, seeing the truth. Uh, somebody's been blocking their emotions. They've been emotionally guarded. Uh, there's anger here as well. There is anger. And I feel like you're dealing, You, some of you are dealing with a person that is very, very competitive. They're very forceful. They like to argue a lot. They like to, they like to put you on the spot. They like to make you angry. They like to push your buttons. Somebody likes to push your buttons. Oh, God. It makes me sick. It does. You obviously have an opportunity for love because I just saw the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups is a partnership where there is love, where there is unity, where there is attraction, where there is compatibility. But you have to make a choice. First card out is a two of swords reversed. Coming out of denial. Maybe you're seeing something that you didn't see before about somebody and you're angry. 
because the two of swords is seeing the truth in reverse it's like there's been denial this is coming out of denial seeing the truth and the emperor reverse is angry okay that's angry upset <laughs> i have to shuffle i can't stand it i can't stand to see the empress in reverse that is like Now we get the Seven of Cups reverse. That is seeing very, very clearly what the best option is. The Empress in reverse is plaguing me. It is. That is like, it's sad. It's really sad. Somebody is in some sort of pain. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra. I'm not sure. Could be you. Uh, Empress in reverse. That's some sort of pain. It's, it's not getting the blessing of, or something like that. There could be a termination here with the Empress Reverse, something to do with a child, mother, father, child. Um, there's a lack of love. There's a there's a lack of of, of tender love and care. Seven of Cups reversed is, is seeing very clearly about a choice, seeing it clearly, making a choice. There's been some sort of confusion. There's been illusion. This is clarity, receiving some clarity. You're going to receive some clarity. This is your, you will, will be shown the way. Maybe you have been in denial about something. Maybe you were choosing not to see something because you somebody was uh, controlling you, you know, manipulating you. With the Queen of Swords reverse or Queen of Wands reverse, that's that's manipulation. I feel like uh, there, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that has a self in image problem that is pity 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 me poor poor pitiful me. I don't know who that person is. Sure as hell ain't me. Anyhow, um, Seven of Cups reverse, seeing very, very, very clearly about a choice that you need to make. This is clarity. We see you're going to be receiving some clarity this month. You are through isolation. Through you're going to be seeing something. You're going to become enlightened in some way. Two of Cups reverse now on the bottom. This is a separation. This is a, a partnership that's not compatible. There's. There's no compatibility here. This is not good. There's fighting. There's bullying. There's abuse. This is not seeing eye to eye. You're dealing with somebody that, I don't know what they've done. They've blocked you or blocked you from seeing the truth. They've, they've filled you up with some bullshit. Anyhow, Two of Pentacles. Now, now we've had three twos. Two two twos are about partnerships. They're about choices. They're about changes. They're about faith and trust. They're about taking steps. We've had three twos now. Faith and trust. You need to have faith and trust. There's a geometric power that is realigning you. That is this card right here. I feel like you have been juggling. You've been going back and forth. You've been trying to make a choice. You've been trying to make a decision. You've been uh, you've had a lot on your plate. Maybe you've been dealing with a little bit of you know. Well, quite a bit of responsibilities, and you need to let something go by the looks of things. You may have bitten off more than you can chew. Ten of Cups reversed on the bottom. Now that is an unhappy relationship, an unhealthy relationship, relationship problems. Um, a dying dream. This could also have to do with children leaving the home or a mother and a father that has abandoned their children or there's something to do with that. I don't know. Um, or maybe you were that child and there's a lack of mother, lack of father, or some sort of abuse or something like that. Anyhow, uh, Two of Pentacles is about balancing. It's a balancing act, a need to be flexible, a need to take another step. Uh, you need to open your eyes. There's something that you have been missing. And I think you are going to see something. You're going to see something. You are. Eight of pen, eight of wands reverse right underneath the emperor reverse. Something's gonna make you angry. May have to do with communication. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that is uh, communicating with other people. They've been hiding it well. They've been they've been sending messages. Maybe you see some messages or you see some things that really piss you off. I still feel sick. Oh, jeez, it just came on. I was. Just like, 
like that and it's gonna happen just like that <sighs> eight of eight of wands reverse that is jealousy you got somebody here that is jealous they're jealous they've been causing chaos they've been causing conflict they're manipulative this person acts I don't know, hysterical when they don't get their way. Ace of Cups, upright. Ten of Wands reversed. Hangman, reverse. I may be dealing with a Pisces. This is, uh, this is like punishment. This is somebody that it has a humongous ego that is unwilling to budge, that uh, has their own idea, has their own thought. This is like a martyr, right? This is somebody who's like, nope, it's my way or the highway. I know it all. Somebody that has these, 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 this extremely big ego. This person is will never, ever, ever, ever change. They, this is your martyr. Letting go, Ten of Wands reversed. Um, letting go of some baggage, letting go, a conscious change is needed, needed freedom. Freeing yourself, freeing yourself of some sort of burden, letting go with the Hamian reversed. Letting go of somebody that is extremely egotistical, that is really hard to deal with. This person will never change. Ten of Wands reverse. That is dropping a baggage, dropping a burden, dropping weight. A need to change. You need to change. It's not going to be easy. There's something that you need to let go of that has been weighing you down. It has been weighing, and you've been blocking the truth. That Two of Swords up there is blocking. You've been blocking. You've been ignorant. It's like ignoring it. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna keep letting this weigh me down. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna be play stupid you know naive the emperor reverse is naive you deserve more and the six of pentacles is about deserving it's about getting what you deserve it's about give and take it's about uh, receiving a gift I feel like you're gonna receive an opportunity like the invitation that could bring balance into your life but you're gonna have to let so this is like you have you have to be flexible you have to be willing to adapt to change and i feel like there's been a delay because you've been struggling to let go of or open your eyes and accept some sort of truth there's naive here the ace of cups in the future which is good that's in the future oh i really don't feel good the tower <sighs> It just fell right out. This is a fallout of some sort. This is this is a major disruption. This is things falling apart really, really fast. Sudden change, force change, universe forcing a change, forcing, I don't know, somebody could get thrown out, they could get kicked out, something like that. They could just, cr things could just crash. Um, change in the home front. Oh, geez, some girl. massive disruption false falseness falseness right next to this hangman i don't know if you're dealing with a pisces or a scorpio it could be pisces scorpio moon rising could also be another fire sign aries leo sagittarius now the empress is not good she's hidden in there anyhow the the uh tower is a huge disruption massive disruption massive change shock a surprise you're gonna see something that shocks you that has to do with this other woman there's another woman here or there is a woman here if you are a man watching this there's a woman here that doesn't respect you she's it's almost like she's scandalous she's been hiding something from you if it's either messages or something like that you're gonna see those messages you're going to read something that pisses you off. 
and it is going to shock you last card out is the tower and it came out just like that it came out just like that and it's gonna open your it just you get it it came out just like that boom but the ace of cups is in the future so that is an offer of love this is a flood of emotion um, I feel like you're gonna this is gonna hurt as well because whenever I see this ace of cups it's like tears and I just I feel it I definitely definitely feel it um, there's going to be a massive change I think it either has to do with your body or it has to do with your home there's been some sort of falseness the you see the light the hermit is the light and the candle is the light and the light is being shed on something that has been false okay something somebody has been falsifying something or they've been lying about something or something has been hidden <laughs> And the truth is being revealed. So that very first card out, Two of Swords reversed, that is coming out of denial, seeing the truth. Somebody's been hiding something. And whatever, when you find out what it is, you are going to be pissed. I feel like you're dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio could be another Aries, Aries Leo Sagittarius. There's some sort of punishment here as well. This person is jealous. Maybe they're trying to punish somebody. There's jealousy issues here. Very, very smug, cocky individual. Extremely smug. But you have an offer of love with this Ace of Cups because this is an offer of love. It is. Now, the tower is a necessary evil. That is universal force. So there's some sort of universal force that is forcing a change. Whether you like it or not, you can't stop it from happening. I know people will tell you you can, but you can't. You don't, you don't control the universe. Anyhow, so something's going to make you angry. Really, really, really pissed off. And it's going to force you to make a change. There's some sort of geometric power that is realigning you to something that is more stable or is more real. The tower is not stable, okay? It's not solid. It's, it's not... It's all false. It's all false, okay? Get ready for some fireworks, okay? Because there's going to be some... And I think there's going to be, maybe, maybe there's some sort of tears. We've got the Hermit reversed on in this deck on the bottom. That is um, feeling alone, midlife crisis type of situation, not seeing. It's time, it's time for you to, uh, well, something that has been hidden is going to be seen again with this card. This is coming out of hiding. Somebody has been hiding something and it is absolutely 100% going to be seen and you are going to, be shocked when you see it um, and I don't know it, let's get another card I still feel sick by the way it just happened just like I'm sure once I turn this camera off I'll be fine Now we got the Seven of Cups upright, confused. This you're and I'm putting I'm putting next to this Queen of Wands reverse. This is confused confused this is exploring options you're dealing with somebody that is one of the options or they've been exploring options you know they've been caught they've been selling fantasy or selling illusion this is all very much an illusion Ooh, three of swords this is separation it hurts oh my god this hurts this is heartache it's heart pain this hurts oh my god oh my god so I do believe that you are dealing with a nasty individual that has been hiding something from you and you are about to see it and you are not going to like it. My guess is it's a Pisces or a Scorpio. Could be another fire sign, but I feel like, I don't know, I really feel like it's a Pisces or a Scorpio. 
But the two of pentacles is also a profit and a loss. So you may, if you want, you, you lose something to gain something. So you're definitely going to be letting go of something, something that has been burdening you. You're going to be moving. You're going to, because we have this new opportunity that is opening up for you. That's your Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is an opportunity for love. It's a new start in love. It's a new beginning in love. I think that you have another option here. The Seven of Cups is right next to it. Maybe you haven't been seeing the other option or you've been ignoring the other option. Two of, pet, two of Swords reversed. You see the, you see the, the thing over the eyes. That's ignoring. That's ignore. I'm, I'm refusing to acknowledge it. But this is acknowledging it, seeing it very, something is going to, you're going to you're about to see something that you have been in denial about. I think that you've known this for a while. I do. Maybe you were in some sort of fantasy land. Maybe you were just not wanting to believe it or something like that. Anyway, you're about to see something. There's going to be a change, and there could be a change on the home front. This is a big, 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 big move. You do have a new start here with that Ace of Cups. This is big love. It's big. Okay, that's a big opportunity for love, for emotional fulfillment. But you have to choose. It's your choice. Seven of Cups is right next to it. It's about the choices that you make. You can choose to be in this situation where you have to fight. You have to be ready to fight at all times. You have to protect yourself. We are constantly being poked by this person that is, has a victim mentality and likes to manipulate you and hides things from you and lies to you and uh, is lazy. Or you can choose another option. The choice is yours. This hurts, whatever the hell it is. It hurts. This is painful. This is a painful separation. It is a loss. Oh my God, I can't believe this. This is, wow. It literally made me sick. You definitely have a new opportunity here, but the choice, you have to choose. You have to choose. Be careful what you own because what you own owns you. That's this card right here. There's consequences for the choices that you make. Now, it's right next to the Ace of Cups. You have an opportunity for love. But if you want to stay in the false sense of security where there's all kinds of bullshit, and if you want to pretend that everything is okay where you're at, well, that's your choice. Somebody's letting go. Somebody is making a choice to let go. Maybe it's the Empress in reverse. Because the Empress in reverse, she ain't given nothing. Okay, the Empress in reverse, she's she's closing herself off. She's closing herself off. She's not going to give love to somebody that doesn't love her. There is withdrawal here with the Hermit. I feel like there's going to be a massive disruption on the home front. It could also be with somebody's body with forced change. This is forced change. Queen of Swords could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the truth, somebody that speaks the truth, tells the truth, knows the truth. This is the Queen of Intelligence. She's the Queen of Thought. Okay, this is authentic, telling, very authentic, very genuine, very real, very logical. This is about doing the right thing, being honest with yourself, speaking the truth. I do believe there is some sort of truth that is about to come out. Somebody here has the truth and they're speaking the truth. That Oh, it's right next to the Ace of Cups. That's one of your options. You have to be honest. But there, you may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. That's one of your options. 
The Queen of Swords is very forthright. She's very real. She's very smart, intelligent, professional, professional. We had a sudden ending there, didn't we? There is going to be a sudden ending. That's the tower. There's going to be a sudden change. There is. But you also have an invitation here. You have an invitation. I think the invitation must be from this Queen of Swords. This is somebody that is truthful, that is authentic, that is intelligent, that is smart, that is honest. Right? She's obviously one of the options, she or he, because it can be a male or a female in this case. But there is another option here. This is something that is more logical. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to use your head. Use your head. No, I'm not saying that you don't. But I feel like I feel like uh, they also I was saying I don't know if you, you got to see it at the at the end of the other one, but um, the emperor in reverse could be following the heart. Somebody you know has been in a situation where they were choosing, you know, social pressure. You know they were choosing what society thought was best over their heart. The emperor in reverse could be following the heart, doing what doing what you want in your heart. I do believe there's going to be a massive change. You're going to be dropping something, dropping some weight, dropping some baggage, dropping a burden. You're you're headed towards balance. You are. This is freedom with the Ten of Wands reverse. You're breaking free from something that has been holding you down. I think there's distraught though. I think you're going to be distraught with this change because you're going to be shocked by some information that you see from somebody that you have been dealing with that you have been ignoring. It's like you've been like, oh, everything is fine. I'm just going to pretend that everything is okay and that this didn't happen. Well, it did. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Good luck.